I bet when you think about the legalization of marijuana, you think about what would the police dogs think? <laughs> you don't? Well, maybe that's why you're not a lawmaker. Get a load of this very odd argument from Minnesota, Minnesota State Senator John Jasinski, of course, a Republican. You know, the police dog discussion of all that and retraining, what's going to cost our local law enforcement agencies who've done these dogs, who've, who've spent thousands and thousands of dollars on these dogs to get these dogs drug trained, and now they're going to have to be retired. Uh, that's a big issue. I, w I was the mayor of Faribault and actually did a fundraising campaign to raise money to get a police dog, to have a drug dog. And now that money is going to go away because these dogs can't be used anymore, given that. Uh, so there's a huge cost there. Okay, first, money doesn't go away after you spend it, it's already gone away. You can't make it go away twice. Secondly, uh, it, apparently it's very easy to become mayors of small towns. <laughs> Thirdly, here's what you do with those drug dogs that have been smelling sweet, sweet marijuana for years and just having to narc on people. Let them get a little high and you're good. <laughs> Let them send them, get to send it, right? them to retirement, it's easy. <laughs> uh, ben said this uh, when we were off air. It's like literally arguing that, well, what's gonna happen to the poor horse if you take away the horse and buggy with these newfangled car inventions you've got, <laughs> yes. right? It's absurd, it's absurd. We have to worry about, like this thing that should be legal, but on the other hand, dogs and their trainers, we've spent money on them, and so, Nah, let's just keep it illegal, even though that makes no sense. Listen, millions of millions of Americans are in jail for marijuana crimes, but we should leave them in there, I think, because these dogs will be out of work. How about just let them go and be dogs <laughs> and free the people, the humans? <laughs> yeah, were dogs supposed to work? Was that a thing? <laughs> are they gonna be bummed? <laughs> oh man, I really love going to the office every day. <laughs> In this case, they might be though, because they're like, you're not smelling any more weed, right? Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny how they're so worried about not having the working population among canines. But at the same time, if you released all of those people from prison where they are right now, uh, they might be able to get a job or two also. But like, we're just focused on like, God forbid you take the, do the, the jobs away from the dogs though. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah, they will just hang on to any excuse. And yeah. by the way, is that a good thing? He's like, now remember how much taxpayer money we're wasting with training these dogs to find marijuana, which turns out to be pretty safe actually. And you guys should get it for medicine and for other reasons, but but we're, we're spending money and we'd like to spend more of your taxpayer money. Why is that a good argument? And why is that a Republican argument? It does like none of this makes any sense. But they're desperate to keep it illegal. By the way, your own voters want, want it to be legal. Guys, we don't live in a democracy. A new poll came out the, a little while back. The amount of people now that want marijuana legalized is over two thirds of the country. It's, it's overwhelming and it, I think it's over 70% now. I don't have it in front of me. But it's it, everybody wants it and in the, I think a majority of Republican voters want it, right? And Republican politicians are like, hell no. And by the way, Biden promised that he would uh, reschedule it from a schedule one, hasn't done it. And, and, and as a fun fact, just about uh, police sniffer dogs, in case any of you are wondering, and not that I ever have or would smuggle drugs through an airport, but not even drugs. We, the point is, I one time <laughs> encountered a, a police dog at an airport with a police man behind him, and uh, I said to the man, I'm just curious, is he smelling for drugs or for, or, or for bombs? And he goes, this one's smelling for bombs and weapons. And I said, okay, and I'm curious, do they smell for both things at once or are they trained to smell just one thing? And he's like, no, just one thing typically. And I was like, that's wonderful news. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> and Ben slept that night in the airport. <laughs> it took, took quite a few days to get out of the airport after that. <laughs> I was like Tom Hanks was living in that terminal for a while. <laughs> yeah, Just got lost yeah. there wandering around. <laughs> and fun fact to end the story, uh, dogs are colorblind. And so uh, <laughs> Brian brought that up off air based on an old commercial we saw in the 90s or something. But I looked it up, Brian, get a load of this. It turns out dogs are colorblind, it wasn't just that ad. And not only that, this is the trippiest part. They only see in blue and yellow, okay? Huh. Who knew that? 
So it's gonna make it so much harder for them to get a job. I'm back See, to agreeing with this guy. That's that's one of those things. I feel like you just presented a fact, presented as fact, and like who's really gonna fact check you on that one? Yeah. Somebody could have just said that X amount of years ago, and like here we are in 2023, being like, you know what? Dogs yeah. only see in blue and yellow. Yeah. Like, how would they know that? Did did, <laughs> did 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 somebody see a dog die and put their dog's eyes in their own eyes and look through them? How would you yeah. possibly know? Maybe it's just somebody that really wants to increase donations to Ukraine. <laughs> I like the idea that the scientists can't come up with any other ideas. He's like, that's it, that's a dead dog, I'm taking the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's just blue and yellow. Sir, you're just looking at a Ukrainian flag. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm seeing more colors now. <laughs> Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more, there's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.